flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. You want to get rich in real estate, you got to flip it. Now, I'm just going to, I don't have a lot of time because I'm out here flipping. I'm out here flipping, okay? So I don't got much time, but I get so many requests. People ask me, how did I get rich in real estate? I flipped it. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I don't have a lot of time because I'm out here flipping. Hashtag out here flipping. So this is what you do. You get a property, okay, that you can get into at a lower level. Then you fix it up and then you flip it, you flip it, you flip it, you flip it. I mean, people say to me, Joe, you're driving around in a 1996 Toyota Corolla. How do you afford it? I flip it, okay? I mean, you, I go to these conferences all the time, guys, these real estate conferences, all these conventions, and there's all of these real estate types, and they, 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 you can tell the players, all right, when you walk into the room, we got, a, we got an eye. All right, we, we can tell who is a player and who are pretenders or, or wannabes. And let me tell you, the players all have that same eye of the tiger and we kind of get, we kind of give it the old, we don't even have to do this anymore. This kind of, because this was the flip it sign, all right? And we know that the people that are making big moves in real estate are flipping it. So you get a property that is lower value, you fix it up, and then you flip it. So what do I mean by fix it up? You paint it. Guys, it's that easy. You paint it. You go down to the Home Depot, and you go to that paint section in the middle, not the tools and not the lighting. I know some of you guys have never been in a Home Depot. And maybe you were there in the days when uh, they were hiring people that didn't know a thing. Well, now they've got some people in there that know them. And so you stop them in the aisle. Here's what you do. You go into the Home Depot or the Lowe's or whatever you got, uh, you know, paint our us, okay, in your town. And you say, hey, man, where's the paint? And, and they're going to... They're going to give you a direction. You go down there and you get some paint, all right? And they come in cans or they come in these uh, bottles that look like laundry detergent. It's not, do not wash your clothes in the paint. Do not, all right? Because the variety of colors that you have in your, in your uh, what do you call your, your uh, what do you call this? Your fashion choices today are all going to be a single color if you wash them in the paint. Do not wash your clothes in the paint take the paint down to this property that you purchased for like it's eight dollars paint it you know i mean it'll increase the value by a ton then you put it back on the market and so what do they call what do we call that guys we call it flip it we call it flip it flip it flip it flip it so now you're on the inside of the real estate game, right? You're, you, I'm going to see you at a conference. I'm, I'm going to say that person, I'm going to see the eye of the tiger in you. See, because now you're in the flip it game. And you don't need a big cable TV show to do this. You don't need to be on one of these uh, real estate TV shows to be able to do this properly, uh, profitably. You just need to be able, to be able to find, start low with some dog. Is there a dog house in your neighborhood? Are there dogs that are living in houses that are uh, of marginal value? Buy that dog house. Offer them, I don't know, 50 bucks for that dog house. Now, I'm talking the nicer ones. But the thing is, you want to try to get into the nicest property you can afford. Then what do you do? You can even drive the dog house down to the Lowe's, down to the Home Depot in the back of your pickup. Right? You throw it, you throw it in there, and you could just, you could get a, you could get one of those spray guns, put the paint in the spray gun, spray paint the dog house in the back of your truck. You know, maybe get some. Uh, swimming pool liner or something to keep the paint off your truck or, or heck paint the truck at the same time who cares 
All you care about is getting into the flip it game, right? So then, now you have a, your first property. You've got to, see, that's the thing. You've got to get off the couch. What did Lil Nas X say? He said, you ain't got up off that porch, right? In Old Town Road. That's what he said. So what we're t teaching you here is how to get up off that porch and get into the flippant game. Go down there, get a doghouse, put it in the back of the pickup, take it to Home Depot, put some of that paint in one of those uh, paint guns, paint it right in the parking lot. Then you return the paint gun to Home Depot. You say it was a gift, and you you spray painted uh, you spray painted the cat. But uh, your wife didn't like the color of the cat. She was thinking more like a pink. And it, can, it came out kind of a reddish, uh, almost a purple. So now you got this purple rain cat running around and all the neighbors are singing uh, Prince songs. I don't know if they're making fun of you or what, but... So I understand. Now you got a property. Now you're going to flip it, flip it. So you get it up on Craigslist. Let's say it's paid 50 bucks. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Now you've made it worth a hundred with that paint job, a hundred. And you put an ad in Craigslist if you got it. Maybe you've got a Jim's list or a Joanne's list or whatever list of somebody. Make your own list. And you say uh, doghouse, uh, purple, purple doghouse, uh, Complete, and this is where the marketing comes in. Copywriting, guys, copywriting. You put in there uh, uh, updated, okay? You put in there classic. That's the word classic doghouse. Uh, turn of the century doghouse. See what I'm saying? You're making it look good. This is it's called curb appeal. And then you put the price at 100. Guys, hear this? That's opportunity knocking because you're flipping, flipping, flipping. Guys, there's a lot more to it than that, but that is just the basics. And I'm only throwing down this video real quick. I don't care about production values. I care about information value. Information value, not production value. I'm not a good looking person. I, I don't, I'm not out here trying to be a male model imparting advice, right? I don't have that. My brother has that. He's the one that got all the girls where I had to study, okay? But what I learned I, most, I learned in the real world. And what did I learn? I learned to flip it, flip it, flip it. Guys, that'll get you started. I hope that helps. Come back more. We're going to have more. We're going to have more advice. But I just wanted to get, get, you, uh, get you before you ran out to get some Twizzlers. I wanted to get you, and so now you've got something to chew on along with them Twizzlers.